Extremely prevalent in northern parts of America, Eurasia, and Africa, the gray wolf is unique for its size, thick fur, ability to survive in harsh weather conditions, and its role as an apex predator. The wolf fits into the modern classification of organisms called canids. This group consists of domestic dogs, coyotes, cape hunting dogs, black-backed jackals, hoary foxes, and other canines. This is the family tree of the Miasis, an ancient species of carnivorous animals called creodonts. This ancient ancestor diverged into the four animal groups of wolves, bears, weasels, and raccoons. The animal group of wolves diverged into many different subspecies of wolves and also birthed a new dog-like species called coyotes, which are a smaller form of wolves. Although different species, the wolves and coyotes share similarities in their fur coats and societal structures, since they travel in packs and are both perceived as threats to livestock. The gray wolf is part of a subspecies of wolves called Canis lupus. The arctic wolf and the red wolf are two examples of variation in the gray wolf population, as the arctic wolves have creamy fur and the red wolves have less thick maroon fur. Natural selection is the cause of these mutations, as white wolves with thick skin and fur in the Arctic Circle are more prone to survival due to environmental conditions such as cold weather and white scenery. The red wolf, found primarily in the deserts of the southwest United States, is correspondingly maroon colored to provide for more efficient hunting, another form of natural selection. This is a display of a Miasis fossil, thought to be between 100 and 150 million years old. Traits of the meiasis, such as the long tail and paws, are indicative of a connection to wolves and other present-day animals, such as dogs, bears, weasels, and raccoons. Natural selection is the cause for the speciation of the ancient meiasis population, as members of the species spread around the supercontinent Pangaea into different environmental conditions, different subspecies emerged. DNA evidence shows a connection between all species of wolves in North America although red wolves and coyotes are more closely related. It shows how natural selection played a role in the speciation of various groups of wolves, such as the gray wolf population that migrated to Eurasia between 150 and 300,000 years ago, and yielded the new subspecies of wolves, such as the arctic wolf. The role of mutations is due to different types of selection, such as natural selection, which caused the gray wolf population to evolve into different subspecies based on their environment. Reproductive isolation allowed for coyotes to break away from gray wolves as a new species, as the repeated mutational changes caused for gray wolves and the developing coyotes to be deterred from mating with each other.